Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you enjoyed today's show, please click like and subscribe and click the little bell to be notified of upcoming video shows. And also, I would appreciate it if you would consider becoming a Patreon. And there is a link to that below in the description. So we're in March of 2021 the month of St. Patty's Day I'm half Irish so I'm wearing my uh, one of my green Irish themed shirts for this for this month but today's show we're not going to be talking about an Irish whiskey at all but my next show um, today is, I believe, March 7th, 2021. Next week, I'm going to be doing a show on the infamous, drum roll please, one and only Red Breast 21. And I'm going to compare it to the Red Breast 12 cast strength. And we'll be talking about the Red Breast family as well. That'll be next week. All right. So back to today's show, we're going to be talking about Compass Box, The Peat Monster. They're um, both non-chill filtered, non-colored, which I believe all Compass Boxes are that way. The two Peat Monsters we're going to be talking about today is the Standard Peat Monster and the Arcana. They're both 46%, so um, in that regards, they are equal. What Compass Box did in 2019, they discontinued their quote-unquote brown label of the Peat Monster, and they came up with some fantastic artwork. I mean, that is really cool, really cool stuff there. Um, and this started in 2019. The bottle I have here was made in, um, was bottled in August of 2019. And that's what the bottle looks like. So prior to 2019, they had a, a brown label that kind of, you know, looked more in that color with the, the label was was similar but it was very all muted browned out and uh, not really eye-catching and they also changed their um, their mixture their uh, vatting on, on this one here so the vatting on the 2019 regular peat monster is as follows. It is 46% Kalila, and these are refilled uh, hogsheads, by the way, and 35% uh, Lafroig. Then back to Kalila again, 14.5% of what they call clean smoke. Then another Kalila, 3%, which they call a delicate smoke. And then yet another Kalila, 1%, they call a fruit smoke. And then there's 1% of Highland Park, derived from French oak, heavily toasted casks, and they mention clove in there. So I, um, comparing that to the Aracana, which came out in 2020, and what I want to note, this is the Aracana label, and this came out in 2020, August of 2020, and this is a limited release. Total number of bottles, it says here. 8328 are the total number of bottles. Um, the price 
the standard Peat Monster retails for around $60, $65 ish in the United States. In this Arcana, um, I purchased this bottle on sale for $89. It might might cost a little more in some places, and maybe you get a deal, and maybe a little bit less. Um, what's interesting is Compass Box is very transparent with what they put in for vatting, and if you look, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. But they list the breakdown. On the back of this Ar Arcana and the Arcana is 71.4 percent Talisca refill hogshead 10.4 percent of the Milton Duff distillery first fill bourbon barrel 9.4 percent they call it the Peat Monster blended malt whiskey refill custom French oak barrel heavily toasted 6.7% from the Art Bag Distillery, recharred barrel. And then the last line, it says that there is a 2.1% of a Highland Malt Blend. Custom French Oak Barrel, heavily toasted. However, if you go on their website, there is a disclaimer talking about the error that's printed on there and what they say is that last line um, is that in ingredient is not in this it's a misprint and so the Highland malt blend custom French oak barrel heavily toasted 2.1 percent is not in this vatting according to compass box official website it's just a misprint on the, on the back of the label so I did email them about that, and they said that they have no immediate plans for another special release of the Peat Monster. Um, doesn't mean they won't do it, but they said they don't have any immediate plans for it. And they're planning on continuing with this new rebranded Peat Monster from 2019. Moving forward, they said they'll be bottling this upwards of three times a year with little or no change in the vatting. And that's from their official web, well actually, that's from an official email I received from them. So we talked about that. Um, what Compass Box did recently is they released a little sample set right here. It's a three small bottle of uh, 50 milliliters, I believe, or approximately the, uh, the contents of them. And it slides open. And it's a cool little book, little format they have here. And they have three different samples. One's the Peat Monster. One's the Spice Tree and one's the Spaniard. And this retails for around 20 bucks. And so it's a good way, a good introductory way to get acclimated with, uh, with Compass Box. And you'll notice that the new rebranded Peat Monster bottle, sample bottle is empty. I do have a backup bottle, which I have not opened. So I'm basing my review today on the sample bottle and they're great little keepsakes you know if you ever want to give other people samples um, you could reuse you know you reuse these bottles and they're they're just cool to look at too their, their artwork is very uh, inventive and imaginative all right so that's enough background let's talk about the juice I talked about the Arcana in a, in a previous review, if you want to look back, if you think it was my second or third um, video. And 
I really enjoy both these bottles. Should they be called the Pete Monster? I mean, it's a great, catchy marketing phrase. The art artwork is great. In my opinion, it's fine if they call it that, but don't expect to find, you know, Pete Bomb, Smoke Bomb, um, Art Bag, you know, Lefroig, and we'll talk about Lefroig or Lechegue or, uh, you know, some of the heavily Octomore, some of those heavily peated things. These are, these are really, really nice. I, I highly, rec highly recommend both of them. But they're both, in my opinion, um, somewhat similar. And I, I really enjoy the, the Arcana, so we'll talk about that. That's the one I, as you can see, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's gone. This is the last sample right here. So this does have a, a little bit of oxidation in it. You know, in the smell, you get, you get a little bit medicinal note. A little bit ashtray and I found through this whole thing this like, delicious sweet strawberry candy flavor to it with a little bit of a little bit of vanilla I, I thought this was absolutely delicious um, really really well done so those are the major notes that I, I, I picked off it you know, sweet strawberry candy, a little bit of vanilla, cigarette, ashtray, in a good way on this one. With a real nice, nice long finish. With a little bit of mintiness to it. And maybe even, uh, uh, maybe a bit of the pepperiness, and that would make sense because it's 71% it's Talisca. And they are known for having a, a peppery, a peppery bite to it. But it's not prominent, in my opinion. All right, now the, um, the rebranded Pete Monster. Which is mostly Kalila, and but it's got a, a, a good amount of Lafroy in it as well. In my opinion, you're getting more medicinal, more band aids on this one. I'm still getting a slight strawberry note to it. A real nice sweetness to it. Very pleasant. You're getting a, a nice long finish with it. And you definitely get a bit of that cigar juice. So in my opinion, which one should you buy? Both. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think they're both great. And, and this is coming from a guy that, you know, my favorite whiskey is Lechegg, but I really love Lefroig. Really appreciate Art Bag. And, and I really appreciate some of the Octomores. So what I was expecting and what I got is a little bit different, but they're both kind of kind of similar um, I think the Arcana had a bit more of that strawberry candy note on it whereas this one which the rebranded Pete Monster it's got the, the sweet elegance of the Kalila but it also has the beauty of the uh, that cigar juice that medicinal note um, from Lefroy. So they're both very similar. It's it's a, a 
coin toss. You know, uh, you are going to pay more money for the Arcana. It is limited, and when it's gone, it's gone. And they said they had no immediate plans to make another limited edition, but who, you know, who knows? Um, I just also wanted to point out um, in Whiskey Advocate magazine, which I think is a great, uh, a great magazine. However, and just in my opinion, I think their scores are a little on the a little on the optimistic side, in my opinion, um, from from my experience. But they do um, they do rate the new Pete Monster as as number nine of their 2020 best whiskeys, and they gave it a um, a 93 rating. I won't read what they say, just in case there's some kind of copyright infringement stuff. But um, but it's a great reference, and you know, like with anything, any whiskey tube reviews, anything you read, it's really all subjective. Um, so I hope I um, pretty much covered covered it. I would recommend them both. Um, I do think that the rebranded standard Peak Monster, in my opinion, I think this is. A little more complex than the than the Arcana, um, and I'm looking forward to cracking this bottle and, and see how it progresses, press it as we go along. But but so far, uh, very complex, very impressive whiskey in my opinion. So I just wanted to talk about next week. We're going to be doing the we're going to be doing the Red Breast Twenty One. And, and yes, I am going to be dunking in <laughs> some Walker's shortbread cookies, even in the 21-year-old, and we're going to be comparing it against the uh, Red Breast Cast Strength 12-year-old, as well as talking about some others. The Red Breast 21, beautiful display case. I picked this one up as an import through the Netherlands um, uh, a couple of years ago, and... Uh, I have not opened it yet. I will be opening it soon, and and we'll be reviewing it really soon. So, um, if you enjoyed today's show, please click like and subscribe. Click the little bell for it to be notified, and consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description below. And just remember, no matter. How good it is and how much it costs. It's just whiskey, folks. So hats off to you all and take care.